Let's talk to our next guest, former NFL quarterback, former Florida State quarterback, former Heisman Trophy winner. Chris Winky joins us on the Frontier Communications Fan Hotline. Chris, good to talk to you. Thanks for having me, guys. I know you're doing uh, work with the IMG Madden Football Academy, working with young quarterbacks going from college to the NFL and and de- a de facto quarterback coach. What made you want to get into this and, and start guiding guys and teaching guys? Well, it was a great opportunity for me once I finished playing. I kind of knew all along that I wanted to do some type of coaching. I didn't necessarily know at what level. And uh, being familiar with IMG down here as I trained here coming out of college, preparing for the NFL, um, <clears throat> we really launched a dedicated football academy two years ago, and they were searching for somebody to be the director and kind of run the program. And it felt like a perfect fit for me to have the opportunity to work with young kids all the way through NFL veterans. So um, we've had some success early on. We, you know, we're we're working hard and just moved into a new facility out here, and we've got a big kickoff weekend this weekend. So we're excited about the direction we're going and the things we're doing down here. Now, you guys got a lot of players that you're working with, a lot of quarterbacks, but one of them, Ryan Tannehill, and there's a lot of rumors up here in Ohio that the Browns are going to take him at number four. You're a guy who works with him. Kind of give us a reason why the Browns should draft Ryan Tannehill at number four. What are the reasons why he would be the fourth overall pick? Well, first and foremost are the intangibles he brings to the table. I mean, he's he's got an unbelievable work ethic. He's very smart. He can process information. Uh, and then from an athletic side, I mean, he's he's one of the best guys that I've ever worked with, and I've had the opportunity to, to work with some pretty good ones. And I think when you take the total package, a guy that maybe lacks only in experience because he's only started 19 games makes up for it um, w- with his ability to be able to understand things. I, I think he's one of the guys that will make the transition to the next level probably much smoother than a lot of other guys because of his understanding of, of already playing in a, in a pro-style offense under Sherman at Texas A&M. And um, really, his arm strength uh, is better than I think people give him credit for. He can throw the ball with anticipation. One thing I see with Ryan is the fact that he can get the ball out of his hands quick. And uh, he really improved his mechanics while he was down here for a couple months. Um, and I think he showed that in his pro day. But at the end of the day, this is the type of guy you want to lead in your football team. I think he's going to get respect right when he walks in the door, um, and his work ethic will speak for itself. So uh, he's a superstar in my opinion, really, and it's not just because I worked with him. Um, but when you get a chance to spend a lot of time with a guy, you can really see his mental makeup and how he carries himself, and, and this is a franchise-type quarterback. Chris Winky, former NFL and Florida State quarterback, joining us here on The Fan. I know last year you worked with Cam Newton a lot, and, and, and I've been open on this program. Cam surprised the hell out of me. I wasn't expecting much from him. I know you worked with him a lot. Did his success at the NFL level in his first year, Chris, even surprise you a little bit? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, I, I, I don't think I was as surprised as, as most people just because he spent seven weeks with me, um, you know, after the draft and leading up to – leading up to the season and and what I saw from him was really what everybody questioned you know and and that was really you know could he make that that move from a simple college offense to a to really a complicated offensive scheme up in Carolina and what I saw from day one in the classroom with this guy is is that um, that he's very smart and that uh, I tell the example all the time the first day I had him in the classroom I put up 30 things on the board just anywhere from formations and personnel groups and, and concepts and Went out on the field for two hours, came back in, and I quizzed him. He got all 30 right. So I knew from day one that this was going to be a special kid. Um, His athletic ability speaks for itself. Um, But I think as he continues to work and continues to get better, he's going to be one of the premier guys. And and, uh, we just got flashes of that in his rookie year. You know, Chris, I was going to ask you about Christian Ponder. I grew up in Minnesota, actually the same age as you are, and got to watch every Ponder game. And the thing I look at with Christian Ponder is towards the end of the season he had trouble reading the safeties, and now people are questioning whether he's going to be the starter there and maybe in a battle with Joe Webb. How have you seen Christian Ponder's progression? Well, I've had a chance to work with both of guys. Christian and Joe Webb both came down here and worked with me for a period of time last year. And, you know, I was impressed with both of those guys. They're they're similar in some ways and, and, and different in some ways. And, and, you know, what I know of Christian um, is the fact that, that he is very smart, that, that he understands the game. You know, people sometimes forget, especially today, that playing quarterback, especially as a rookie in the NFL, is one of the most difficult jobs out there. And I think what you see is, 
um, guys need some time to develop, and, and there's going to be certain things that defenses are going to do, especially against young rookie quarterbacks. And, and as he continues to, to work and continue to get some experience, I think Christian is, is a guy that, can, that brings a lot to the table. I mean, his athletic ability, and um, you know, we worked on mechanics down here. But at the end of the day, the speed of the game at the NFL level is like no other, and guys just have to continue to work on processing that information and, and making good decisions. Chris Wanky, former NFL and Florida State quarterback, joining us here on The Fan. I know you're working with a couple of Big Ten guys, Kirk Cousins and, and Russell Wilson, who we saw a lot of this year. And, you know, Russell Wilson surprised me as what he was able to do. Do you see an NFL quarterback, though, when you look at Russell Wilson? There's no question. Um, I was very fortunate to have three guys work with me, and that's, you know, Ryan Tannehill, Russell Wilson, and Kirk Cousins. And, you know, Russell and Kirk are, are obviously played in the Big Ten, but more specifically, you've got a guy like Russell that was able to have success at NC State, transfer, and in 21 days teach himself the offense and be named a captain at Wisconsin and have great success. Really, they lost two football games on Hail Marys at the end of the game, and, and you know if they win those games, they're probably vying for a national championship. I know this. The guy's 5'11", but he plays like he's 6'6". He had three balls batted down and three interceptions with you know over 30 touchdown passes with over a 70% completion percentage. Not only that, he's one of my favorite guys I ever worked with. Uh, he is a sponge. He was constantly in, in the classroom with me, always wanting more information. And then he has a presence about him, even though he's 5'11". You know, I've heard other people say it, and, I, and, I, and I'll say it because I worked with him for two months, is if he was 6'2", he may be the number one pick in the draft. And that's the, the intangibles that he brings to the table. He lights up a room when he walks in there, and I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. If there's a sleeper in this year's draft, it's Russell Wilson. Good stuff, Chris. We appreciate the time. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, guys. Chris Winkie. Former NFL, Florida State quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner, joining us on the Frontier Communications Fan Hotline. Now, I like talking to Chris. Take it with a grain of salt, though. I mean, high praise for what Russell Wilson there. He's still a 5'11 quarterback. And, two, it goes back to my original point about all the quarterbacks. It's pop in the tape. You can have great mechanics and look great on the practice field and all of that stuff. You can run as fast as you want to run. But the bottom line is you can't simulate a game-time situation. Does he change your opinion of all of Ryan Tannehill? No. I mean, he seems to have no doubts that he will go to the NFL at the next level and, and be a very good quarterback. Yeah, I don't think so. I could be wrong. You, know, you never know. I mean, I've been wrong in oh, the past Oh, we all could be things. wrong. We've all been wrong. in the. It's a guessing game. But I just, don't, I just don't see it. Even guys who are paid to do this for a living, professionals, they are frequently wrong. There were, a people, there were people, Mike, a couple years ago, Case Keenum was going to be a great pro quarterback. I don't know where even he is projected to go in this draft. That's a good point.